Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the fourth meeting of the European and External Relations Committee in Session 5. I'd like to remind members and the public to turn off mobile phones to ensure they don't interfere with the broadcasting equipment, and any members using electronic devices to access committee papers during the meeting should ensure that they're switched to silent. Uh, no apologies have been received today. Uh, before we proceed to the first item on our agenda, I'd like to welcome our two new members, Emma Harper and Stuart McMillan, to the committee, and I look forward to working with you both. Um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our outgoing members, Ash Denham and Bruce Crawford. It was a pleasure to work with uh, both of them, albeit for a very short period of time. And on behalf of the committee, I wish them well. Item uh, one on the agenda is declaration of interest. So I'd like to invite Emma Harper and Stuart McMillan to declare any interests that they might have that are relevant to the committee's work. For me, it might not be um, an interest at the moment, but I have a partnership with my husband in a bed and breakfast in Dumfries. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Kingina. Um Certainly, when I was at uh, university, I uh, said my first course uh, was through the Socrates Erasmus scheme. And when I stayed on to do my master's, uh, I obtained funding from European Social Fund. Thank you very much, Stuart. Um, agenda item two is a decision on taking business in private. Uh, to take items three and four in private, to be exact. Item three is consideration of the committee's initial report on the EU referendum and its implications for Scotland. And item four is consideration of the committee's work programme. Are members agreed? agreed. And we now move into private session. <laughs> 